Hello and welcome. My name is Evan. I'm an ecologist and I'm interested in making science accessible by explaining news stories in five minutes or less. Because today is Halloween, I'm a bat biologist, and because it's the end of bat week, I thought this would be a good opportunity to talk about turtles. Just kidding. Let's talk about bats. So let's go into Google here. Bats news. Oh yikes. I've put the link to this article in the description so you can take a look for yourself, but rest assured, this article is a nightmare for bats and bat biologists alike. It suggests that bats are responsible for the transmission of COVID-19 to humans. And to understand how that could be possible, and why it may not even be true, let's talk about pathogens, spillovers, and pathogen biology. A pathogen is something that causes disease. Many pathogens are viruses, bacteria, or fungi. Pathogens find their way onto or inside of a host and then hijack that host to make as many copies of themselves as possible and to spread themselves as much as possible. When you catch a cold and you start to sneeze a lot, those sneezes are just the viral pathogen trying to spread themselves to new hosts. Your sneezes are the spam emails of disease. But sometimes, when the conditions are just right, a new host opens that email and clicks the link. And when this happens, when a pathogen moves from one host species into another, we've had what's called a spillover event. And that's what this article is talking about. This article is saying that a spillover took place between bats and humans. So before we talk about whether or not that's even what happened, let's discuss how a spillover event could even be possible in the first place. All pathogens are really good at infecting certain kinds of hosts. Because humans and bats are both mammals, certain pathogens might be able to effectively hijack both. Alternatively, a pathogen that can infect bats might only be a few small genetic tweaks away from being able to also infect humans. The truth of the matter is, is that we don't know when and how the COVID-19 spillover event took place. Bats do harbor a lot of coronaviruses, but they're not alone in that regard. Species like pangolins or civets may also be responsible, but no matter where the spillover event for COVID-19 took place, the species from which it came is not responsible for canceling Halloween this year. Human activities like industry, agriculture, or commerce that bring us into frequent contact with wildlife populations make it more likely that spillover events could take place. The more we roll those dice, no matter how low the likelihood of a spillover event is, the more likely it is that the spillover will take place. So at the end of the day, these animals are not to blame. Halloween's unfortunate cancellation this year comes from poor human decisions, bad luck, and unfortunate timing. These animals are just part of the fascinating and occasionally adorable diversity of life that makes living life on Earth so interesting. That's it for me. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, share it with a friend. If you have any questions, throw it in the comments below. Until next time, stay safe and take care.